In the last video on intersective adjectives, we learned how we can do some type shifting in order to get the appropriate meaning because what we had in a case of happy dog is the case where we have an ET conjoining with another ET and that gives us a type clash. But what predicate modification allows us to do is to take two of the same type and conjoin them together. So if we have an ET and an ET, we can form a new ET with the simple rule that we're going to bind. So we'll call this lambda x and we're going to have x is happy and x is a dog so x is happy it's going to take the left side and then we're going to conjoin it with the right side x is a dog so this is what predicate modification is allowing us to do without doing any of the type shifting that we had to do before so how is this going to be used well we'll take a couple examples as we go through and then in the next video we'll look at one of the cases in much more detail so here is the case of Vancouver is a city in Canada. Now, there's a couple things that we're going to have to talk about. And what I really just want to focus on is the city in Canada part. So this is where predicate modification is going to take place. So I'm going to take this out, place that, and we're just going to focus on this bit right here, city in Canada. So city is going to be type ET. Uh, Canada is going to be type E and in. Well, let's get the translation for in. This is going to be lambda y lambda x dot x is in y. So this is going to be type EET. So we'll do EET there. That will go all the way up. And then we're going to get an ET as the prepositional phrase. So let's just fill in what we have here. So city will be lambda x dot x is a city. Uh, Canada will just say that C. So when we join these two together at the prepositional phrase, what's going to happen is C is going to replace all of our Y's. So we're going to be left with lambda X dot X is in C. And now as we join with the ET and ET at the NP level, we're going to be able to conjoin the two. So what that means is we can take this X is a city, we can take X is in C, and we can conjoin them using and. So this is going to be Lambda x dot x is a city and x is in C. Now, predicate modification only allows us to do this with conjunction. So we're not just throwing in anything that we want. This is a rule that specifically comes currently with our ability to do that intersective meaning. So this would be Vancouver is a city in Canada. And then when we keep going up the tree, a city is a city. Uh, Vancouver is a city in Canada. This sentence is going to be true if and only if then... What we would do is we say Vancouver, V is a city, and V is in C. So with the rest of the tree, really all we're doing is that subject substitution in for lambda x, and that's how our truth condition will resolve as we go up the tree. So just to show this, D will be lambda p dot p, uh, the verb will be lambda p dot p, and then the subject will just be V. All right, one more thing to show. Trevor is a man who loves, who, sorry, let's restart that sentence. Trevor is a man who Grace loves. So we don't know what the inside of the relative clause looks like yet. That's what we're going to discuss in the next video in the series. But for man who Grace loves, we have an idea of what these should look like. So we know man is going to be an ET. That's going to be something like lambda x dot x is a man. But what does who Grace loves look like? Well, let's think about the predicate logic translation for this. We want some lambda x where we're saying that G loves x. So we know what the subject is of this. We know that Grace is the subject and Grace loves somebody and we can tell by the gap. So this word is really just being put up there. So we have this gap at the point. So when we want to join these together, we can do it with predicate modification. So that would say that the CP is of type ET as well, which means our NP will be type ET. This will be lambda x dot x is a man and g loves x. So this is how we can get predicate modification to also deal with our relative clauses. Now, much you, now what you might be noticing about relative clauses at this point is that it's really just a rephrasing of that intersective adjective meaning. So we can say Trevor is a man who Grace loves or we can say Trevor is a loved by Grace man. So that would be another way of paraphrasing this, in which case we just have our adjective, we'd have our noun, and this would form together to make the fact that we have an adjective and a noun. So this is another way that we can paraphrase 
any type of relative clause. It might sound a little weird when you do that paraphrase if there's a lot of words in it, but we can do that paraphrase to get that same intersective meaning. So we're going to dive into the relative clause next. But just for now, this is predicate modification, and this just allows us to do what we did before without needing to do any unnecessary type shifting.